Welcome back to Unclaimed Baggage, the series. I'm Brenda Cantrell, and today we're going to introduce you to one of our Reclaim for Good partners. But first, what is Reclaim for Good all about? Let me tell you. It's the charitable division of Unclaimed Baggage Center, but what does that actually mean? Reclaim for Good hosts volunteer opportunities, outreach events, and of course we do product donations, much like the items you see here. At Unclaimed Baggage Center, we don't sell everything that we purchase. We actually give away nearly one third of our product. And today we're gonna meet one of those recipients, our Kids to Love partner in Madison. Come with me. Here I am now with Kids to Love CEO and founder, Lee Marshall, who's making a huge difference in the lives of children in North Alabama. She's our newest partner and we're so excited to be showcasing her place today. We're excited that you're here. We love partnering with Unclaimed Baggage and the Reclaim for Good. We serve children in foster care, and originally that was North Alabama, Southern Tennessee, but our service has now grown across the state of Alabama, across the state of Tennessee, into Mississippi, into Georgia, and we have some programs that even serve internationally. Mm -hmm. One of our programs that we love to showcase, which is I'm so glad that you guys came here, is our K-Tech program, and that's the equipment you see behind us. We get to train our kids that are aging out of foster care, between 75 and 80 percent of members of the juvenile justice system or prison system were foster children. So skill sets to get them trained, to get them jobs in manufacturing, it's a great way to break that cycle of poverty. This is just one of the many programs we had. I know that you guys have been in our warehouse where you see school supplies, where you see Christmas. Davidson Farms is a home for girls where we house girls in foster care ages 10 to 19 and we are always full. A house full of teenagers, that's a whole lot of needs. So we have a, a lot of love and a lot of home that uh, we're able to support our girls. And so we do this, uh, we do it without any state or federal funding. Mm -hmm. uh, we are 15 years old and in that time we've been able to make a direct impact on the lives of more than 250,000 children living in foster care. Uh, from a business standpoint, we do that debt free and our overhead is 8% and that's something that we're really proud of. Our team works really hard to keep those numbers down and it's important for our community to know that if you support us to support our kids that it's actually going to our kids to change their lives and to give them a chance at a better life. One of the biggest things we need is foster and adoptive parents and kidstolove.org is the place to go. No matter where you're seeing this, if you visit our website, we can connect you with a social worker in your county. We can uh, make sure that you get the information you need to help us welcome our kids home. Every child deserves a forever family. Well, we're so lucky, so lucky to have you, you know, and your team here in North Alabama. And I'm just excited that we were able to finally connect yes. and start making things happen. And I love the suitcases. You know, so many times our kids move home to home in black garbage bags. Giving them a suitcase gives them dignity. And I love, uh, through our Camp Hope program, we've actually been able to hand suitcases to foster parents and to the kids there. And I love the excitement of their faces when they get to pick out the one they want. Or strollers, it is such a need for foster parents. Uh, those who foster, uh, foster many children. And so when we did our big stroller palooza to give away all the strollers that you guys brought us on a semi, I had so many foster parents say, do you have double strollers? And so that's now a request that we've made with you guys. And so we love the partnership of being able to take what you have with the Reclaim for Good and then plugging that right back into serving foster families in our community that are taking care of the most vulnerable population. And those are children without families. Today we just scratched the surface on Reclaim for Good and one of our many partner organizations, Kids to Love. To learn more about them, click the link in our episode description.